Hey everyone, this video is four years in the making. Back in 2018, I got this Toyota Sienta and it's a cool, if not ugly vehicle. It's a mini minivan and it took four years, over four years for those tires to get old and brittle. So I re replaced them and I also bought new wheels. And so I went with smaller wheels. Uh, the original one came with 16 inch wheels, but I went down to 15 inch wheels. Um, the lightest 15 inch wheels I know of are called Ray's CE 28 N's. But any Ray's wheel brand new is around 500 or, and so I wasn't gonna buy these brand new because this is a minivan, <laughs> right? So um, I went with something called the Eco Drive. They're still made by Ray's and I think they're originally meant for the Toyota Prius um, because they have a five by 100 hole pattern. But all rays are forged, meaning they're lighter weight because the metal is forged together instead of cast. And so I bought these off Kruber, a Japanese website, and they were like $300 for the wheels, but with shipping and import tax, I paid like $700. Um, so I took it to a shop, of course, and I brought a scale with me. So you can see these weights here. Each original 16 inch wheel on the Sienta weighs nine and a half kilos on average. I also decided to weigh the tires. Uh, the old tires were called Bridgestone Terranza ER33s, and they averaged around 8.6 kilos after 30,000 kilometers of use. They must have weighed a lot more than that when they're brand new. <clears throat> this one in the bottom corner was uh, to replace a flat tire, so that one is fairly new, and it weighs a lot less, 8.1 kilos. All right, so I decided to go with the uh, Bridgestone Ecopia EP300s because I'm trying to stick with the economy thing here. And each of these tires averaged out to be 8.1 kilos brand new, so that's good. A wheel plus a tire originally was 18 kilos, but now we're down to 12.25 kilos. So each wheel saves over almost six kilos or a total of like 24 kilos or 52 pounds was saved by swapping over to these new wheels and tires. They're actually technically used wheels and tires. So not the prettiest looking thing, but again, it's an ugly minivan and now it's got some uh, smaller wheels. All right, so we have to actually read this from the bottom. Uh, I use a thing called fuel log and you have to enter the odometer and how many liters or gallons you put in. You can change it to imperial metric. But here back in uh, November 2018, uh, I ran seven tanks up till March 2019 and the average of those was 12.2 kilometers per liter. And these tires already had 8,000 kilometers on them. That's when I started to take these readings. So that's the odometer reading there. All right, so three years and one month later, uh, the last seven tanks before I switched over to these new wheels are here. So this is now uh, May 2022 up until almost November of 2022, these seven tanks. They, uh, are, the average was 13.1 kilometers per liter. So now these tires are older and they actually have a 7.4 increase in fuel economy or, or mileage over the newer tires back when they only had 8,000, 9,000 kilometers on them. But now they have like 27,000 kilometers on them. All right, so this tank here on November 8th has to get thrown out because this is the transition tank between the old wheels and the new wheels. So then up here at the top, we have the latest uh, seven tanks running these new wheels and new tires so sadly right now is 12.7 kilometers per liter and that's actually a three percent decrease or worse fuel economy than the old tires back here you know in november but if you compare them to the newer tires back when the car was newer that's actually a four percent increase in fuel economy so what this is telling me is, you know, the new tires have a larger diameter. They have a lot more grip because they're new. So they have worse fuel economy. But maybe in three or four years, as the tires get harder and they wear out, they weigh less, there's less rubber on them. I'm suspecting and I'm going to see more than a 7.4% increase, you know, that happened between the 
the new tire at 9,000 kilometers and then I mean, the, sorry, the old tire at 9,000 kilometers and the old tire at 26,000 kilometers. That kind of thing. So, uh, in summary, saving 50 pounds or 24 kilos or so is not going to get you better fuel mileage today. But over the long run, in the same amount of time, I suppose they will maybe save you some money. Well, it was an interesting experiment. You know, it didn't cost me too much money. It's something to think about. Hopefully. Hopefully you learned something.